welcome to the last episode of CG5. Technically, it is not the last episode, it is actually the second last episode. We get an email which we don't care about. So here we are gonna kill Trevor and kill Michael. But the death wish is gonna be the next episode. See you there then. Start the finale mission. Hey, slick, it's me. <laughs> What the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? <sighs> Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. Nah. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man. The feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns. In. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you're going to A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C. Time's ticking, pal. Beep, beep, beep. And your answer is... Man, you know what? Man, fuck you. <laughs> Genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Bye bye. Man, fuck. Okay, now we have been given three choices. A and B we're gonna do today, and C we'll do in the next episode. First one is to kill Trevor. Franklin, what's up? Shit, what's cracking, homie? We need to talk, but somewhere quiet, all right? Yeah, sure, man. Whatever you need. How about one of those empty lots off El Burro, on the east side of town? Yeah, all right, homie. Look, I'll meet you there, all right? Franklin! 
What's up, big homie? Mike, man, I need to have a conversation with Trevor. You know, yeah, that conversation. Oh, shit. All right, okay. Look, man, the FIB dudes want him gone. And Devin Weston want y'all gone. You know how it is, dawg. Shit. Somebody gotta go. Well, it ain't fucking me. Exactly, man. Look, we meeting at a Borough Heights. So you think you can help me? Uh, I don't know. That sounds like it's your thing, Frank. I, I'll see what I can do. Man, I hate Michael. He just agreed to kill Trevor. Hey, man. How you doing? Shit, I'm good, T. And yourself? Oh, peachy. I know what this is about. You do? Of course. It's Michael. You're the peacemaker. Well, I ain't having it, all right? I ain't having it. I mean, maybe when the heat dies down. But this, nah, I ain't having it. I mean, that's it, right? Huh? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? But Michael ain't the problem. See, I like you. You scare the shit out of me sometimes. You creep me the fuck out. But, but the way I see it, the way anyone normal will see it, not that any of this shit is normal, man, you gonna get us all fucking killed. You gonna whack me? Huh? Me? I ain't been nothing but straight and true with you. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, you have been true with me. But the truth ain't what I'm interested in. You fucking shit!
tall. Oh, so you gonna run from me, huh? Hey, Trevor! place, homie. Chasing teeth through the oil field. Shit. Okay. I'm not far away. Try and stop him. you grow the fuck up. I mean, I admit, I'm a bad piece of work, but that guy, that piece of shit, no boundaries, no sense of when to back off, no nothing. 24-7 insanity, day in, day out, all the time. Never regretted nothing, never cared for nothing. Oh, fuck him. I mean, there's gotta be a limit, kid. You know, a point where even assholes like us say, enough is he fucking enough. Human stew. That's my limit. I know that now. I guess that's that then. It is what it is. Hey, it's certainly been an education. Surviving is winning, Franklin. Everything else is bullshit. Fairy tales spun by people afraid to look life in the eye. Whatever it takes, kid. Survive. Damn straight. Okay, so this was the final episode of GTA 5. 
well not the final episode the next one is gonna come up because we need to explore our three options well trevor is gone and i think he is no longer playable well let's skip it this credits and get on with it and also we need to play other two endings as well Okay, now here we are playing as Michael. Let's see what is the aftermath of this option one. Okay, we got a message from Lester, and he says driver is off the grid, and we got his share as well, which means more money for both of these Michael and Franklin. Also, we get an email of now this is useless. Okay, now we got Michael's share and as well as drivers. Let me check. Oh yeah, we got a lot of money. Let's go and see Franklin. Let's see he got how much share he got. Okay, driver is still unplayable. Let's switch to Franklin. See you next time, all right? Bye. Well, we got a message from Lester. It's the same message that he sent Michael. Let's go and see the bank account. Okay, we got a lot of money. It's fragments as well as Paris share. Very well done. But this was a sad ending so I think we should move on to our second ending which is gonna be killing Michael. And here we are. Let's choose the B option and get on with it. Let's kill Michael. Hey kid, how you doing? Shit, not too good, dawg. Look man, we need to talk, but somewhere quiet. Alright. Listen, let's take a drive out of town. You and me, we'll meet off Route 68, by that field of satellite dishes. All the way out there? Yeah, all right, man. Sure.
Frankie. Hey, T, man. I'm in trouble, dawg. I think I gotta take out Michael. Got to? Yeah, man, look. The FIB, man, they trying to get me to clap you. And Devin Weston, he trying to get me to ice Michael. And I thought if I... If I do that, man, maybe we got some room, you know? So, wh what are you telling me this for? Cuz, dog, I'm doing this for us. I thought you could... Well, I can't! You're turning on him? I have had enough traitors in my life! Man, your ass could say thank you. Shit. You deserve each other! Okay, so in this case, I liked Driver because he is not just a guy who betrays his friends. He refused to kill Michael with Franklin, so I like him. Hey, man. Hey, what's up? You seem kind of agitated. Man, shit ain't good right now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, shit. Hold on. Hey, baby, what's up? Really? Tracy? College? Our Tracy? R real college? You gotta be kidding me. That's great. All right, well, hey, listen, let me talk to you a little later, all right? Yeah, I just gotta wrap up some business here. All right, bye. Ah, uh, Amanda. Says she wants me to bring you around the house sometime for dinner. 
One of these nights, huh? Fuck. I mean, I don't know what I did to deserve this motherfucking luck. I got my kids back, my wife, and a job that I love. I mean, I made it. We made it. You and me, bro. <laughs> what? I like you, dog, and you know this. I risked everything for your ass, dog. What is this? Look, man. Me and you know this shit ain't over, dog. We both realists. The fuck is this? You. You? You came here to fucking clip me? You? Fuck! you everything you know. Not everything. I was here long before you, and I'll be here after your ass. Oh, we'll see about that, you fuck. I'll take you every time. Uh -huh. Every time! 
every fucking time. Yeah? Fucking ain't right. I was your bitch! I couldn't even stand down to bear on your gun any fucking day, you motherfucker! You just keep telling yourself that! It ain't gonna make you feel any better. Past performance, homie. People don't fucking change. You did! You! Two-bit gangster going three-bit. And now you're gonna... Gap! The only one who was ever decent to you! Ha! Huh. No, I trusted you. I took you in. Treated you like family. My, let's just fuck you. Hey, you told me when the time came. I know, I'm sorry. You hypocrite. I should have clipped you when you broke into my house. Man, I'm sorry. It's like you said, I understand. You don't understand nothing. I'm all you got. You made the wrong call. Ah, I'll bring you down with me. I'm taking you down. You're coming in the ground. I was just calling to see how you was doing, dog. Or maybe we can hang out or something. Man, I know I've been kind of caught up in shit, man, but shit been real crazy, homie. But it's dealt with now. Fuck, man, you know how it is, homie. You just start running and shit, then all of a sudden your legs give and you just can't run no more. Anyway, man. Man, just hit me, dog. We brothers, homie, all right? Peace. Man, this ending was much worse than the first one. Anyway, we will see what the third one will bring. I hope that is gonna be a good ending. This was just the sad ones. Dance is over, I guess. All right, so here we are as driver. He's alive and well. Let's see what he has been doing.
And we got a strangers and freaks mission on this one. Let's see what's it all about. is the real America. <gasps> so, you've done well for yourself. What, what, what are you doing here? Is that how you greet your mother, Trevor? I, 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 I didn't know they let you out. So you never wrote to me? You never visited? What? what? <gasps> I bet you never found a girl. Tell me, Trevor. Are you gay? No. Is that what this is all about? No. I wouldn't care. In fact, I've always wanted a gay son. A son who wouldn't forget about his mother. But Ma! But Ma! But Ma! But Ma! Nothing! Not a peep! I carried you in here. I fed you. I weaned you. Now look at you. You always were an ungrateful, wretched, sniveling sack of shit of a boy. You know it, and I know it. There was always something wrong with you. Ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of me. Of your own mother. I've been here for hours. And have you gotten me a drink, or a cigarette, or massage my feet? I'm an old woman, and you, in the prime of life, have you nothing inside? I'm so sorry, Dioma. <laughs> there, there, it's okay, son. <laughs> Oh, that's enough! Here I am, old and tired and alone. I'm so sorry for everything. Exactly. For everything. I'm an old woman, Trevor. I don't got no insurance. Oh, I got money! I don't want your goddamn money! Is that what you think I am? A prostitute? Still? You're sick. What should I do? I'm in a lot of pain. I need you to get me some more Deludamol. I can do that. A lot of them. A truckload, literally. And not those weedy little ones. The thousand milligram ones. And if you find me a gentleman, well, we both know you need a father figure.
you might see your mother in pain, do you? You selfish little boy. Can't you do anything right? No wonder your father has out on it. Oh, 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 oh. Good to know that Trevor got a psycho mother. Patricia! Trevor! Oh, it's good to speak to you. My thoughts are with you. You see, uh, Martin, is he treating you well? If you ever... You're a sweet boy, Trevor. A sweet man. Oh, Patricia, I really miss... I have to go. Well, this was uh, just a mission that is completely optional, so it looks like we need to switch to Brecken and see how it's doing. Uh, man, I'm drunk, but shit, I ain't getting drunker. You sound kind of patronizing and borderline racist when you speak to me like that. Ah, grow up. Is it more patronizing than telling you to ice your favorite uncle? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. How'd it go? Look, it happened, man. So y'all gotta get the FIB off my case, man, since I didn't smoke Trevor for him. It's already done, homie. Haynes' boss has been spoken to. All right, so now what? You got a job for me? Oh, I had a job for you, Slick, and you just did it. Let me take a look down a list of your uses and, oh yeah, we're all out of them. I do have some advice for you, though. Go to business school, because clown school ain't worked out so good. Well, that was really, really insulting. 